Welcome to Kids Art with Luca. The place to find fun and easy kids art. Today's project is a farm field. The materials you'll need are white paper for painting the sky and drawing the farm, green for the field, or you can use white either way, a sponge, brushes, acrylic paints, greens, water, and a little blue watercolor paint, oil pastels, and corn on the cob. All right, we're going to put a sky on there, but before we do that, we need to build our farm up there with our oil pastels. So I'm going to lay the field about where I want it so that I can see where to draw my barn and my fences. Take your oil pastels and imagine that you're looking across this field to the horizon where the barn and the fences are. So of course I'll start with my barn. I think I'll take this, see if this is a good orange color. I might need a darker red. Oh, this is just the square part. And then I'm going to go across so I can see the barn doors. Okay, color the side of your barn in. I'm going to make a little bit of hay in the top of my hayloft. And I need a black so that I can make those X's on my barn doors and I can outline. This is the blue. make a fence that goes across. So I want a dark brown, I think. Take it right off to the horizon, to the edge of the paper. And I'm going to make a haystack, maybe right back here. Nice big haystack. All right, and then take the fence across there. Doesn't have to be even. You can add a little more interest if it looks weathered. You can add an oh, animal in if you'd like to. Maybe a farmhouse in the distance. Maybe a chimney too. All right. Oh, I know what I'd like to add. I'm going to add one of those little cupolas to the top of my barn. And darken this in a little. Oh. You know, it would look great. It'd be a scarecrow. Let's see if I can make a scarecrow right here, out near the field. I remember he's on a pole, so he's high up.
Now, I'm going to mix a little of the blue in my water, with my water. Move the field down a little way out of the way so it won't get too wet. First thing I'm going to do is wash in water on the sky. So when I add the paint, I'll get it really wet and add it in and it will wash across. In. So it fills in. around. And if you've used oil pastel, you should be able to go right over it with your paint, like a wash over the top. I want it to be a little uneven as it dries so it'll look more like clouds, so I'm dabbing it with my brush. All right, now, now we'll work on the field. So you can push that up out of the way and take your green paper because we're going to add our field. The field's going to go right up across the whole thing. So you take your sponge and you get it wet under the sink and wring it out so that it's fairly dry. You can see mine's not dripping at all. I'm going to use the darker green because I've got fairly dark green paper here. Remember how we loaded that before? We're going to load it again. So that means we're going to go always moving our brush to the center so that we don't spend too much paint off the edges. Load it in. When crops are growing, there are lines between them, so we're going to use the corn print, the corn and the cob, to print a line. So take a piece of corn, and I've broken mine in half. If you, you can use the whole one if you need to. Roll the corn across the paint. And you should have a piece of paper to test it on. Roll the corn lightly across to load it up. And take a piece of paper and test it on there just to make sure it's going to work. Looks like it's pretty good right now. So I'm going to go at an angle, almost like a, an A or a, a V upside down, from the center so I'm going to start here and I'm going to go toward the top at a little angle. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side, pushing gently. And it should start looking like things are growing in rows. So always roll to the center. Then it'll pull it into the center. I think I need a little more paint, but not too much. There, that's pretty good. All right, let it roll up to the top, all the way to the edge of the paper. <laughs> Don't let the corn get away from you, <laughs> like if mine did. <laughs> now I'm going to come on this side and start toward the center. It's a little tricky using the littler piece of corn. If you use the corn cob, you can hold on to both ends. And roll it up to the center. See how that pattern is pulling your eye up to that one point? And that's what it should do. Then it will look like you're looking across the field. If you've ever seen a field with things growing in it. If you've been lucky enough to visit a farm or to grow your own. Keeping that same slant going all the way across the paper. All right, I, I dropped my corn in it in the trash right away just because it's all covered with paint. Now we're going to take our field and add it on. And make sure you don't leave any white. Bring it right up to the fence line. So take your glue stick and put plenty up by the fence line. Bring it right up to it. 
and then press it down. Then you can add it to your background when you're ready to center it and put glue at the back of it. I'd love to see what you did. If you'd like to share your project, use the hashtag with Luca.